10 ways Sakura would be a better Hokage than Tsunade. Tsunade's student, Sakura, possessed qualities that would have let her surpass her master not just in abilities but also in being a good Hokage. Sakura Haruno was a student of the legendary Sanin and fifth Hokage, Tsunade Senju, under whom she trained extensively for three years, and eventually became a master of all that she was taught. In fact, she could certainly match up to, if not surpass, her master by the end of Shippuden. There's no denying that Tsunade was one of the best Hokage in Konoha who stabilized the village when everything seemed to be falling apart. However, her student Sakura also possessed qualities that would have let her surpass her master not just in abilities but also in being a good Hokage. 10. Sakura constantly strived to better herself in every given situation. Even when her skills were not up to the mark, Sakura always resolved to work harder until she could achieve her goal. This quality of hers could be seen at several points throughout the show, like during her training with Tsunade, where she persevered even though the Sanin broke her bones multiple times. She vowed to catch up to Naruto and Sasuke and, even though they had exceptional powers, she did manage to catch up to them by the end. If Sakura became Hokage, she would try her hardest to become the best Hokage simply because it was in her nature to excel. While Tsunade was an exceptional Hokage, this was a quality that she did not seem to display. 9. Sakura was an exceptionally fast learner. Sakura had a brilliant mind and excellent observational skills that helped her grasp almost everything quickly and with great ease. When she first started training with Tsunade, her master was impressed by how quickly the girl had mastered the first level, even though she had just begun her training. It also took her only three years to master the Bayakugu. Something that took Tsunade several more years to master. As a Hokage, this quality of her would be a massive advantage as she would be able to assess and overcome any new or unforeseen challenges quickly and decisively. 8. Several superiors were of the opinion that Sakura could surpass Tsunade. Almost every time Sakura fought a battle in Shippuden, she was praised by the onlookers and compared with her master. Tsunade. Even Kakashi and Lady Chiyo saw the potential in her to surpass the fifth Hokage. During the fourth great ninja war, Hashirama Senju, first Hokage, and grandfather of Tsunade commented that Sakura's strength might even be greater than Tsunade's, this proving that even at such a young age, many elders could see the potential she had. 7. Sakura was very young when she mastered everything that Tsunade taught her. Tsunade was a pretty old woman by the time she became Hokage, even though she used a jutsu to make herself look much younger. Sakura, at the tender age of 17, had become at par with her master. She had many years ahead of her to enhance her skills and even surpass Tsunade by the time she became old enough to be Hokage. As Kakashi rightly said, the next generation will always surpass the previous one. It's one of the never-ending cycles in life. 6. Sakura was much more responsible in nature her sensei. Sakura was a responsible person who took her orders and duties very seriously, a quality that could be seen from the very beginning. When Kakashi set the trio on an exercise to practice chakra control, while Naruto and Sasuke bickered in the background, Sakura was the one who performed said task without any questions asked. Tsunade, however, had several questionable habits that would raise a few eyebrows, like her habit of gambling all her money away, as well as being drunk all the time, and that too publicly. Shizun often had to keep pleading and going after Tsunade to perform her duties. 5. Sakura maintained a balance between preparedness improvisation when needed. While Tsunade might have been decent in combat, she was not very good at being prepared for impending doom. She had known about the Akatsuki's plans to attack the Leaf Village well in advance. Jiraiya's death and message should have alerted her even more. However, she was barely prepared to deal with the disaster that pain brought to Konoha. 
If it hadn't been for Naruto, the village would have been completely destroyed and many lives would have been lost. Sakura was smart both during battle and before it. She amassed chakra continuously for over three years with such perfection that she was able to use the Bayakuku. A technique that even Shizun had not been able to master, when it was needed the most during battle, because she knew it would be needed one day and prepared herself well in advance. 4. Sakura's experience at the hospital made her well equipped to handle paperwork. One of the main duties of a Hokage was to go through mounds of paperwork every day. This was a task that Tsunade was not a big fan of. Due to which Shizun often had to beg her to complete her paperwork. However, Sakura worked at the hospital, where the healers had to keep extensive patient records and keep updating said files over and over. This experience in doing so much paperwork with ease, and on a daily basis, would definitely come in very handy if Sakura were to become Hokage. 3. She had grown up closely worked with the young ninja of Kanoha. Tsunade was presumably in her 30s and she left Kanoha, and in her 50s when she returned. A lot happened in the village during these years and the next generation of shinobi had obviously grown up by the time she returned. She made some questionable decisions at the beginning, like sending four genin and an inexperienced chunin after the dangerous sound for ninja. On the other hand, Sakura grew up and worked alongside these young shinobi during various missions. As well as the fourth great ninja war. She had first-hand knowledge of their strengths and weaknesses, and how well who worked with whom. As Hokage, she would be able to make well-informed decisions about each team would be perfect for which mission. 2. As Tsunade's apprentice, Kakashi's student, Sakura knew the ins-outs of a Hokage's workings. Sakura was personally trained by Tsunade, the fifth Hokage, for three years. During that time duration, apart from learning combat and healing skills, she would also have gotten a real insight into the workings of a Hokage and the duties they performed on a daily basis. Add to that the fact that she was also a student of the sixth Hokage, Kakashi Hitaki, where she worked closely with him. If she became Hokage, she would not have to waste time learning everything from scratch like Tsunade and would be able to handle everything efficiently from the very beginning. 1. She was immune to manipulation since she could recognize release genjutsu. Sakura was one of those rare shinobi who could detect and free themselves from genjutsu. Kakashi once commented that because Sakura was a genjutsu type, she could become an even better kunoichi than the fifth, implying that Tsunade did not seem to specialize in genjutsu. As the most powerful person in the village, a Hokage had to keep safe from being manipulated or it would mean terrible consequences for their entire village. For example, the fourth Mizukage, Yugura, was put under Genjutsu and was manipulated by Madara, which played a huge role in leading to the fourth ninja war. Something like this could not happen to Sakura because she would easily recognize and break out of any Genjutsu. This quality of hers put her above not just Tsunade, but most shinobi qualified to be Hokage. <laughs>